For more on the trade negotiations, we're joined now by Jeff Moon. He served as an assistant U.S. trade representative to China under the Obama administration. He now works as a consultant on international trade and government affairs. Don't suppose you'd like to be in the mix of all of this right now. Uh, it seems like it's going fast and furious, a lot of different directions. Uh, there is word, uh, as Nathan was saying, uh, Bloomberg suggesting that there might be some sort of deal. I'm sure you're out there, you're talking to people. What are you hearing? I would be very surprised if we close in on a deal during this visit. I think during this visit, the Chinese side is bringing to the table possible purchases in order to reduce the deficit. Um, and that's important, and President Trump has prioritized that. However, there's a lot more to talk about. Um, I think that any final deal really needs to address several things. It needs to address uh, the deficit and some purchases, probably, by the Chinese. It needs to also address market openings. Things that have been discussed include, say, banking and securities and insurance. But then we also need to talk about certain Chinese policies that discriminate against American products and American companies. I mean, that's when you get into industrial policy, and those are the things that are the, those are the hardest nuts to crack, I think. And so um, what can we expect? Uh, obviously, it looks as though they're trying to frame some sort of deal. There were, there were articles earlier this weekend that perhaps there'll be some kind of mini deal by the time Liu Hua leaves. Is, 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 can we expect something like that, or is it still just going to be a matter of just talking, moving the ball down the, down the field a bit? Well, one big question is, what does the American side want? Well, that is a big question, isn't it? Because it seems like the goalposts move, don't they? That's right. The American side hasn't clearly articulated that, and that's partially because, quite frankly, according to the press reports, there's not a consensus among the American team on exactly what the priorities are. So everyone agrees that there need to be some progress on the trade deficit. But exactly where we go beyond that is a question. And remember, this comes up in the context of a Section 301 proceeding. That has to do with intellectual property, and it has to do with forced transfer of technology, trade theft, things like that. The deficit reduction does not address any of those issues. So that's why I say I predict that there is seriousness on the Chinese side about reducing the deficit, but the remaining two areas are going to be the really tough ones, and that's going to take more time. You worked in the Obama administration, and, and it seems to me anybody who's been in Washington for a time who watches administration after administration, obviously there's always leaks, but there's a certain amount of discipline. There's a messaging. It, it, and yet we saw it with John Bolton uh, this weekend where all of a sudden they're backpedaling, and that's on diplomacy. But we see it, too, on trade. Uh, you, you know, Navarro and Mnuchin apparently having this big fight in, in Beijing. One side wants this. The other side wants that. One side may have the president's ear today. The other side may have it tomorrow. You see a tweet about ZTE. You see something else on another day. If you're another country trying to negotiate, how do you go about doing that? Well, I think that's... You have a great point. It's very hard in order to do that. And that's why I think Leo Hu, while he's here in town, he's also seeing members of Congress. He's seeing Henry Kissinger. He's getting a wide variety of views, both to try to understand what's happening with people that can probably explain some things from behind the scenes, uh, but also to lobby a little bit on behalf of the Chinese government. So I think that's how you have to do it. You brought up the 301 hearings uh, taking place. I think they ended uh, today. Right. Uh, three days of hearings. I spoke to an attorney who's testified in the past. He says, you know, if it's a day, that's pretty amazing. Three days says a lot. Uh, and there are a lot of people testifying saying, please, time out. Don't do this. You're going to hurt this industry or that industry. Does that have any impact? I think it does. I think the three days reflects the fact that there was not full consultation before there was an announcement that we were going to go ahead with this case. And there are a lot of views, and there are a lot of unintended consequences of, uh, of what's happening here. Those unintended consequences are related to trade, but they're also related to politics. I'm not quite sure that the administration expected quite the feedback that they've got from the agricultural sector, for example, where there are a lot of Trump voters and a lot of seats that are up during this upcoming election. Yeah, a lot of blowback. Jeff Moon, thanks so much for your analysis. Really appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure.